The Monty Hall problem is based upon an old game show where a contestant picks one of three doors. Behind one door is a new car. Behind the two other doors are goats. For this video though, we will be changing the prizes. There is a prize of one million dollars behind one of three doors. There is zero dollars behind the other two doors. You pick one of three doors, then one of the two doors you did not pick is opened that has zero dollars behind it. You are then given the choice to keep your door choice or switch to the other remaining unopened door. Should you keep your original choice or should you switch doors? Does it matter? Well, it actually does matter. Let's take a closer look at why it matters. As an example, let's say you select door one. There's a one-third chance the one million dollars is behind door one. Which also means there is a two-thirds chance the million dollars is behind door two or door three. And now if you are shown there are zero dollars behind door two, the question is, should you keep your first choice of door one or should you switch your choice to door three? Well, because there's a two-thirds chance the million dollars is behind door two or door three, and now you know the million dollars is not behind door two, there is now a two-thirds chance the million dollars is behind door three, which means you should switch doors. Theoretically, by switching doors, you have a two-thirds or approximately 66.7% chance of winning one million dollars. By keeping the original door choice, you have a one-third or approximately 33.3% chance of winning one million dollars. To better understand this, let's take a look at a similar situation with more doors. Once again, there is a prize of one million dollars behind now one of ten doors. There is zero dollars behind the other nine doors. You pick one of the ten doors, then eight of the nine doors you did not pick are opened. All eight have zero dollars behind them. You are then given the choice to keep your door choice or to switch to the other remaining unopened door. Again, should you keep your original choice or should you switch doors? So again, let's say you select door one. There's a one-tenth chance the million dollars is behind door one. There's a nine-tenths chance the million dollars is behind a door numbered from two through 10. And now if you are shown there are zero dollars behind door two through door nine. Again, the question is, should you switch your choice to door 10 or keep your original choice of door one? Because there's a nine tenths chance the million dollars is behind a door numbered from two through 10, and now you know door two through door nine don't have the million dollars, there is now a nine tenths chance the million dollars is behind door 10, which means once again, you should switch doors. Again, theoretically, by switching doors, you have a nine tenths or 90% chance of winning $1 million. By keeping the original choice, you have a one tenth or 10% chance of winning $1 million. One last thing I do wanna mention before we go is that the Monty Hall problem is not the same as someone first showing you one door that has zero dollars, let's say this door here, then making your first choice, and then being given the chance to switch doors. This would be the same as having just two doors to choose from. If this was the case, switching doors would not increase the probability of winning. There would be a one half or 50% chance of winning, regardless of the door chosen or if you switched doors. Thank you for watching.